Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my rewind spread for the week of March 25th through March 31st and if you're new to my channel or new to the planning world, a rewind spread is basically um, a spread that you do after the week is already over so it's more of a journaling or scrapbooking process rather than a planning process. I do still call these plan with me's just because that's a term that everyone's familiar with um, but I'm not actually planning ahead anything. Um, so I just wanted to clarify and for this week I have the most gorgeous kit from Sadie stickers I've been holding on to this for like a year and I really didn't want to use it yet but I think it's time to finally put it in my planner it's so pretty and it's so perfect for spring so with my kit came a couple little samplers. Um, this first one has a full box, a half box, some flags, and then four little bow icons at the bottom. Um, the kit also came with a page of these, I think they're page flags. Um, let me double check, yeah, they're page flags with gold foiling. And then onto the kit, this kit is gold foiled. Um, it comes with nine full boxes, and this one says there is beauty in simplicity. Just gonna wiggle it so you can see the foil and then here on this page we have sidebar trackers half boxes some bow checklists this one says new releases and plan next week probably not ones that i'd be using and then some different sized flags on this page we have some more foiling so the weekend banner here at the top is foiled as well as the date covers we've got some appointment labels um, quarter boxes more half boxes and headers and then this last page um, has some light foiling this is like the bottom washi two strips and as you can see there is like foiled dots and then it also comes with little things flags and then these um, functional icons so um, I don't remember if this is like a full or a mini sized kit but um, I picked this up as part of her and anniversary bundle I believe uh, yeah because it says anniversary here at the top and again I've had it for quite some time it's so gorgeous and I just wanted to hold on to it forever but I think it's finally time to put it in my planner so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started I will explain everything as I go along and I hope you guys enjoy as you saw earlier, this kit came with two different strips of bottom washi, and I ended up deciding only to use one of them, the floral strip with the gold foiling, and um, I decided not to use the marbled one just because I really wanted to pull in the gold foil bow washi from Simply Gilded. So I go ahead and white out um, the lines at the bottom of my planner, and then I place down the bow washi with the floral strip that came in the kit. I place down the quote box in the top corner and then I move on to putting down all the date covers for this week and I just want to tell you guys that this is one of my favorite favorite spreads ever. It came out so gorgeous and um, I don't know if you guys remember but for the last few weeks I had kind of been cutting back on the amount of foiling that I was using um, with some spreads not having foil at all and so for this week I decided to do the opposite and just go all out with my foils um, so I pretty much pulled out everything that I had and tried to use as much as I could. And I think it honestly came out so beautiful. So I'm really excited for you guys to see the final product. But anyways, moving to my sidebar, I placed down a strip of washi. I believe I cut that marble out of the um, other bottom washi strip that I didn't use. And I layered over it a gold foil bow header that is also from Sadie Stickers. I used a long flag sticker from the kit and the first Monday through Sunday box to track my happy moments. And then I placed down another flag with the other box to track my dinners. To add some gold foiling to my sidebar, I pulled in these little bow stickers and they're from Planning Like a Pro. Moving on to Monday, I first placed down this bow header from Sadie Stickers. It actually came in a Christmas kit that I used from her shop. Um, first thing on Monday, I grabbed some coffee as usual. The coffee sticker is from Tickled Pink Planning. And then the gold foil lettering that says morning coffee is from Randy.Plans. I then cut down a piece of that bottom washi that I didn't use to create a little background and I pulled in this painful looking emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that I was super sore that day. I then used a full box and pulled in a gold foiled IEP sticker from Jador Planning to mark a meeting that I had that day. I love that there was a little space um, in the middle of the full box. And then I put down the 10 millimeter bow washi from Simply Gilded that matched the one at the bottom. Um, and I just pulled the I just pulled that washi in throughout the week. I used a flag with a super full munchkin from Once More With Love to mark that I pretty much binge ate everything when I got home. I just have like certain days where I don't know, maybe because 
because I'm PMSing or something, but I literally just like come home and I'm so hungry and I just eat like everything. And then, um, that night we watched a rock climbing documentary that was on Netflix. So I placed down a flag with a gold foil TV from magic Prince co. And then at the end of the night, I just did a YouTube binge. So I pulled in this gold foiled YouTube binge sticker from Randy dot plans. On Tuesday morning, I uploaded a video. So I used a quarter box with a um, gold foiled laptop sticker from Magic Prince Co. to mark that. And then I placed down another flag that came in one of those little sampler sheets with the kit um, to mark a morning meeting that I had. I had another IEP that afternoon, so I pulled in a half box and another one of those gold foiled IEP flags from Shadora Planning. I actually ran out of um, the light pink IEP flags from uh, Lily Grove Designs that I usually use, and so I kind of had to get creative this week in terms of how I wanted to mark those meetings. I actually had a second IEP, so to mark that, I pulled in this like paperwork sticker, and I just found that in my leftovers like collection, so I'm not really sure which shop that was from, but I did write the time of the IEP just um, right there in the sticker. I placed down a full box at the bottom and then in the remaining space, I pulled in one of those bow headers and cut up a checklist into two, um, two boxes to mark that I worked out and then watched some TV that night. So I used another TV icon from Magic Prince Co. Moving to Wednesday, I started by putting down a strip of the Simply Gilded Washi at the top, and then I had another IEP that morning. I believe I had like eight IEP meetings this week, so it's pretty crazy. And then um, to mark that IEP, I pulled in a gold foiled heart, and that is from Hazel Sticker. Underneath that, I used another strip of like the marble background washi and layered a gold foil bow header on top of that. I then decided to use the little flags that came with my kit to mark my IEP meetings. Um, I do love those um, gold foiled ones from Jador Planning, but they are just like really intense because the whole thing is gold. So I thought it would be better to pull them in a few times in the spread rather than like eight times for the number of meetings that I had. Um, I go ahead and replace the flag on Monday with one of the ones from the kit and then moving back to Wednesday I initially put down this um, half box with a gold foiled post office sticker from Magic Prince Co and I used my pilot brush lettering pen to write happy mail but at the very very end of the spread I decided that brush lettering didn't really go with the spread because everything's so thin and dainty um, so I do switch that out at the very end and I just wrote in happy mail um, just with like my regular pen so the pen I'm using this week is the paper mate enjoy gel pen and 0.5 it's the thinner version and I think it worked really nicely with this dainty kit I then placed down a quarter box with some dumbbell stickers from Sunset Sticker Co. to mark my workout. And then I put down this gold foiled um, arrow sticker from Stella Bow Sticker Co. to mark that we watched a few TV shows that night. On Thursday, I started by using a little things at the top and I wrote in today just to make my own little header. And then again, I cut down the bottom washi that I didn't use to make like a little background and mark that I had a really busy testing day on Thursday. Um, I pulled in another flag from the kit to mark a meeting that I had that afternoon. And then um, I used a quarter box with a taco sticker from Plants with Finesse to mark that I went and got Del Taco after work because um, that night was the teacher of the year ceremony. So for for the day, I actually started at the bottom because I wanted to make sure that I was spacing everything okay. So at the bottom, I put down a half box and put a bow header on top of that. And then I used a full box and I think I lifted up the quarter box because I felt like I needed to scoot it down. Um, but I then found these like gold foiled remember stickers from Rose Color Day. So I decided to stick that in the middle, um, just kind of as a reminder that, you know, that was an important event that I want to remember. And on the full box where there's a little bit of empty space, I just marked that again it was the teacher of the year awards it ended up being like a nice little ceremony and it was just really nice to be recognized for you know the work that you put in um, for your students and your families so yeah that was really lovely I also pulled in a gold foil bow from planning like a pro just to add a little foiling to that and then um, at the end of the night after it was over my boyfriend and I went out to celebrate and just got some happy hour so I used a happy hour sticker from paper and milk with a beer sticker from dizzy daisy dreams 
Moving to Friday, first I put down a full box and then I layered a bow header on top of that. Um, I then placed down another flag from the kit to mark my first IEP that morning. And then I used a strip of the Simply Gilded Washi with the quarter box. Um, on the quarter box, I marked that I went and got a treat yourself lunch because Friday was the last day before spring break and I had two really, really difficult IEP meetings, one of them involving an attorney. So it was definitely like a big deal. Um, so anyways, I definitely wanted to treat myself that day for lunch and the gold foiled heart sticker is from um, Clever Gal Crafts. To mark my second IEP that day, I used a half box and um, that gold foiled IEP flag from Jador Planning that I talked about earlier. And that meeting ended up going super long. I don't think we were out of there until like 5.30, but we were so excited just to have that done. And then it was spring break. So that was really exciting. And uh, for the rest of the night, I honestly had no energy to do anything. This was like such a crazy week. And so I just did some self-care that evening. Um, the gold foiled self-care sticker is from Randy.Plans. And then I used this little like gold foil bow checklist from White Deer Stationery. And that sleeping mask sticker is from Planning Like a Pro. Moving back to the top of Friday, I decided to write in TGIF in um, the space like at the bottom of the full box because there was a little bit of empty space. And I also pulled in a bow sticker from Clever Gal Crafts. For the weekend, I first started by laying down the weekend banner right over the top, and then I started at the bottom of Saturday by putting down a full box because I knew that's where I wanted it, and um, above that, I used a flag, and I think for Saturday, I had done like a lot of little things here and there, and for me, on days like that, it's easier to start from the bottom and um, start putting in the things that I know I want to have in my planner, and then see how much space I have left for like the remaining little things. So above the flag, I put down a half box with the bow header again and then at the very top I put down a flag with a three bow checklist from White Deer Stationery. On the flag I used a Remember Gold Foiled sticker from um, Rose Colored Days and then the first thing I did was paint my nails that morning so I pulled in this really dainty nail polish icon from Planning Like a Pro and then I just marked a few of the other things that I got done um, one of which was to go to the Amazon store to pick up some stuff that we ordered and that little um, mail sticker is from the sticker jungle. On Saturday, the weather was extremely nice, so I had gone out to the pool to do some tanning and also read Harry Potter, and so I used this Harry Potter binge sticker from Randy.Plans, whose lettering is amazing, and we did date night that night to celebrate spring break, um, and so I pulled in that date night gold foiled sticker, which is also from Randy.Plans. That night we watched the Fantastic Beast movie, the second one that came out, um, and it was not really my favorite. I was kind of disappointed by it. But anyways, I pulled in this little Hedwig sticker from Paper and Milk's like Harry Potter sheet. And then I also just wrote meh at the bottom because that's just kind of how I felt about it. Then for Sunday, I put down a strip of washi at the top and marked that it was just like a really lazy morning. Then I put down a strip of the Simply Gilded Washi with a full box. And on the full box, I wanted to mark that um, we went down and got some pizza at one of our favorite spots and also went down to the beach after um, because again the weather was just like beautiful it was I don't know 78 degrees and just perfect and so we wanted to spend some time in the sun while we could um, that beach day sticker is from very cute designs and then at the very bottom I put down a quarter box with a bow header on top of that we watched another movie that night so I pulled in this movie marquee which was for my leftover stash and then we also did some groceries so that grocery icon is from Hazel sticker. I placed down a gold foiled heart sticker from Stella Bow Sticker Co. at the top because I wanted there to be more gold foiling and then um, I wrote in that we did groceries and then for the movie I wanted to add in more gold foiling so I actually whited out the little hearts at the top and I pulled in this um, gold foil bow from Clever Gal Crafts to cover that space instead and that night we watched the movie Lady Bird which I think came out a few years ago. Um, I hadn't seen it yet and I really really enjoyed it. I love like coming of age movies and um, um, at the end of the night on that quarter box, I just used a camera icon from Tickled Pink Planning and also a um, gold foiled film sticker from Magic Prints Co. to mark that I did some filming that night. And like I mentioned earlier, um, the last thing I do in the spread was to change out that Happy Mail sticker on Wednesday, again, just because I felt like brush lettering didn't really go with the spread. Um, so I lifted it up and I replaced it with another half box that I had in the kit um, and another one of those like mail icons from 
Magic Prints Co. and just use my regular pen to write in Happy Mail instead. So anyways, that is it for this week. And as usual, the last thing I do is to fill out my sidebar and I go ahead and do that real quickly. And now I'm just moving on to showing you the stickers that I have left in the kit. I did use quite a bit or as much as I could, um, but there's still some left over. And now I'm just doing a Viv Wiggle to show you guys all of the beautiful foiling that's in this spread. I, again, love this so much. This might be one of my top favorite spreads of all time. It's just so gorgeous with the combination of the gold foil, the florals, the marble. It's like everything that I love. So um, yeah, I love this so, so much. And I hope you guys really enjoy this as well. Please let me know if I forgot to mention anything in the comments down below. And I apologize. I know my videos have been slow lately. Um, I have been really, really stressed with work. So it's been really hard for me to um, just find the time and energy to edit and stuff like that. But thank you so much for bearing with me as always while I catch up. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, uh, for your support. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.